Oh, we're playing as Max again. And he's imprisoned. Again. Well, first time in this game, I think. But who's counting? Well, this stuff is damp and moldy and stinks like crazy. So, no sleeping in this prison either. There's an apple. I assume this apple hasn't always been white and fuzzy. Mm. No food either, then. Ugh, do I have to? Well, I guess so. Alright. There's a trash picker. This is for picking up trash without having to bend over. Very convenient for old people. Or lazy ones. I would like one of those. Anyway, I would like to get my hands on that. If I manage to hit the trash picker and it falls in the right direction... If not, this, w this will be a short video. Always works out in video games. Great, it worked. If it was me, of course, it would have been falling this way, and we would be stuck. Anywho, with that, well, hang on, let's have a look around first. We have a stove, a cast iron stove door. Please note. A number of iron bars have been placed in such a way that my freedom of movement is somewhat inhibited. You think? Alright. That has a gravity. I just need to pull the door off its hinges and... Voila. Done. Right. All it takes now is opportunity, a firm whack, and fast legs. Follow me. Pat Shelton wants to see you. Uh-oh. Tackling two people with my stove door is out of the question. I should wait for a better opportunity. Probably. I am so glad you could make it. There is something I would like to show you. Nina! Max! Yes, Nina Kalenkov and Max Gruber. I would love to leave you to properly celebrate your reunion, but we haven't got the time, I'm afraid. The reason for our little gathering is quite simple. There are some things you want to know and some things that I want to know. You claim it is a coincidence that while in two completely different parts of the world, you happen to develop an interest in the very same matter. How can you expect anyone to believe that? That would be highly unlikely, even if you were total strangers. But in your case, and your collaboration with David Correll of the Church Intelligence Service is certainly more than just coincidence. I don't know who you are working with. You must know more than you have told me. A lot more. And yet, I am sure you do not know everything. So let us make a deal. I will now show you what you want to know. You see, truth is like an eternal flame. You can try to conceal it, try to shade it, but it cannot be extinguished. And the truth has long stopped hiding its ugly face behind the veil of technology and progress. It shows its terrible grimace day by day. 660 children starve to death every hour. Millions of people slave away in horrible, degrading circumstances, while their boss has become richer and fatter all the time. Oh, Deserts true, are expanding, but... the polar caps are melting, the ozone hole is growing, the climactic catastrophe is at hand! Every day, 
We do our best to destroy our planet with all the powers at our command. Today alone, another 140 or so animal and plant species have become extinct. I know, it's terrible. So, can you make this world a better place? Yes, I can. Zandona was a great prophet. Too great for his time. His vision could not be brought to life in the 17th century. Today, things are different. Vision? Zandona never had any visions. He was just a very sick man who wanted to destroy the world. Destroy? How blind you are! He never wanted to destroy the world! He only wished to root out the evil that is responsible for all the destruction in our world! I will show you. Oh boy. This is La Palma, one of the Canary Islands, a paradise for sun-loving tourists. For us, the island holds quite another fascination, the Combre Vieja Volcano. The brittle western slope of the volcano is covered in clefts and fissures where water has collected. And now for the interesting part. By placing several bombs in carefully calculated spots, we can use thermonuclear explosions to heat that water so that it will evaporate instantaneously. If you had paid attention in your physics classes, you would know that such a sudden evaporation of water would create sufficient pressure to shatter the volcano's brittle slope and send it crashing into the sea. Can you guess what comes next? That's right, a tsunami. Waves 200 meters high will charge across the Atlantic with the speed of an airplane. The tsunami will sweep across the east coast of the United States. New York will disappear in an apocalyptic flood, taking with it the self-proclaimed rulers of the world who are currently squabbling in blind incompetence at the UN headquarters. The resulting vacuum of power will be filled by our followers, some of whom have been biding their time in key positions for decades. They will take control and lead humankind to a new golden age. Traumatic much? Except for the people on the East Coast. I guess you won't be leading them anywhere. Haven't you been listening to me? I told you this is about saving the world. By leaving millions of people to drown? How is that saving them? I am saving them from their own destructiveness. They would kill each other anyway, sooner or later. But in that case, not just a couple of million people would die, but the basis for our existence on this planet would be permanently destroyed. Don't you see? Those who hold the power in this world are leading us to our doom, day by day. But now, we have a chance of seizing this evil by the root and wiping it out once and for all. Without its rulers, humankind will be as helpless as a flock of sheep without a shepherd. They will turn to God and to Puritas Cordis, for we are the ones who saw the catastrophe coming, and who know how to avert any further disasters. And nobody suspects that Puritas Cordis caused those disasters in the first place. It does not befit the sheep to question the will of the shepherd. We will teach people to live devoutly. We will teach them the ways of Zandona, and we will welcome them to the new state of God. They will be led by our supporters, Chosen from among the wisest of the wise, and the most pious of the devout. And what will your role be in that state? Mine will be the voice that proclaims the will of God. In other words, you will rule over all the rest. So this is really about power, as always. Certainly, the power of the Lord. But that's enough of me, enough of us. I have fulfilled my part of the bargain and told you much that you probably did not know. At least, not in so much detail. Exposition, in other words. Now it's your turn to uphold your end. Who are you working for? What do you know? Who else knows it? And how does the Church Intelligence Service mean to prevent the inevitable? CIS? We had an agreement! Talk! Who 
are we working for? Church intelligence service? I don't know what you're talking about, but all that Zandona nonsense seems to have softened your brain. That's the only explanation I can think of. I will not be made a fool of. Very well. You asked for it. You see the grave over there? It's fresh. All that's missing is a body. So, for the last time, what do you know? Who have you told? And what has the Church Intelligence Service got to do with it? Um... Tell all? I don't know anything. See, nothing would be... I don't know anything. Uh, and, and just... To be uh, precise, either of this okay, either of this will lead to the same conclusion. Just so you know. So it doesn't really matter anyway. But I know nothing. This was just a coincidence. Sorry. I don't know anything about any intelligence service. And your people shot the man who might have been able to tell you more about it in cold blood. If you think this is some kind of game, you are badly mistaken. Max! No! They shot Max. A totally unnecessary death, brought on by your own foolish stubbornness. I shall give you some time to think about the error of your ways. Maybe you will be a bit more cooperative when we talk again. Take her to the cell. Oh, what have I done? Max is dead. I should have prevented this. No matter how, I should have prevented it. I was the only one who could have averted this disaster. I could have saved my father. I could have saved Max. Yes, I could have. And what did I actually do? I am responsible for the death of David Correll, who died trying to help me escape. I sealed the fate of Max with a single wrong answer. And my father will be next. And what am I doing? Sitting here in a cell, waiting for it all to end. Yeah. I hope it will be over soon. You will survive anyway. Max is not dead. Courtesy of um, an open door. Everyone should have their own stove door. It's a good thing I carry all kinds of stuff around with me. Mm. <laughs> right. Welcome back, Max. Welcome to the land of the living. <laughs> right, we have stuff to do. I don't, I'm not quite sure how long I have played for. But this might be as good as a, good a place as any to take a short break. So in the meantime, this was your host, the Lazy Gamer. Logging off, yeah. Well, I haven't actually played much. It, it's been exposition and stuff, but you know what I mean. Anyway, bye guys.